Hello everyone. In our last couple of videos, we touched upon measurement of line segments. In this video, we will talk about angular measurements. Now we know, let's see, I am looking in one direction, let's say in this direction, and now I rotate or I turn on the spot and I take one full turn and I again look in the same direction. Then I am said to have turned 360 degrees. So this is the angular measurement we are doing. We have this complete, this angle is called 360 degrees. Now if I am turning not full rotation, but I turn, let's say, one fourth of it. So I turn from this side to this side. So now I am looking into this direction. Then I am said to have turned 90 degrees because that is one fourth of 360 degrees. So 90 degrees is my one fourth of a turn. It is one fourth of a turn. It is also called as one right angle. 90 degrees also called as right angle and it is one right angle is 90 degree. And we know one fourth is also called as a quarter and hence 90 degree can also be said to be one quarter. Thus you can see 90 degrees is represented in different formats. 90 degree is called one fourth of a turn or one right angle of a turn or one quarter of a turn and we will use these terminologies in many of our sums later. Let's also talk about directions. Now it's a convention to show the up as north and down as south and right and left as east and west. Now if you remember, want to remember this, you can remember if you look at the India's map and you know Kashmir is to the north, it is the north. So it is Kashmir is towards this side and Kanyakumari which is south side is towards the south. Then we know that Kolkata or the eastern states are on this side and the western states like Rajasthan, Gujarat are on this side. So you can use India's map in your mind and find out this direction. So the adjacent directions make a 90 degree angle with other. So east makes 90 degree angle with north, north makes 90 degree angle with east. Similarly, between north and west, between west and south and between south and east, they make 90 degree angle with each other. You can also relate this to the clock. So the 12 o'clock is north, then 6 o'clock is south, 3 o'clock is east and 9 o'clock is west. And in between you have 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10 and 11. Now if you see, the 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock, they make 90 degree angle. Now, if they make 90 degree angle, we see that there are 1, 2 and 3 parts between 12 to 3. So, what is an angle between successive hour numbers in a clock? So, between 12 and 1, what is the angle? It has to be one third of the angle between 12 and 3 because between 12 and 3 there are 3 portions. So one third of angle between 12 and 3 is 30 degree. So each hour number on the clock is separated by 30 degrees. This is very important information when we are going to solve a few sums. One more important term we need to remember is the type of turn. Now, generally when you see the clock hand moves this way. 
So it moves from 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4. It does not move from 12 to 11. It moves from this side. And this is called a clockwise turn because it goes follows the clock's regular movement of the hand. Clockwise. And whereas this one is called anti-clockwise. So I'm moving from north to east. It is a clockwise turn. From east to south is a clockwise turn. But if I want to move, let's say from north to west, it will be anti-clockwise turn. From west to south, it will be anti-clockwise turn. So when we move from, let's say, 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, so I was looking here, I moved from here to here, I have traversed 90 degrees and that's called a right angle. Now further from 3 to 6 I move, which means I have moved from this direction to this direction, another 90 degrees I have moved. So if I have to talk from 12 to 6, then I have moved in a line. So this angle, full angle here, this angle is called a straight angle. So a 180 degree angle is called a straight angle because it makes a straight line. And when we move further up and we come back to our original position, so which means we move complete one turn. We may, when we make complete one turn, that is called a complete angle. And it measures 180, 180, total 360 degrees. So, a complete angle is 360, while a straight angle is 180 degree. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.